long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with... Welcome to Monday's edition of Proverbial Wisdom. So glad that you are joining us on this day, January the 11th, 2021. Again, appreciate you joining us for these. I appreciate the time that we have together for just a momentary devotional thought sometime during your day. Let's go ahead and open again to Proverbs chapter 16. Proverbs chapter 16. We left off with verse 20, so let's pick up with verse 21. Proverbs 16 verse 21. The wise of heart is called discerning, and sweetness of speech increases persuasiveness. Good sense is a fountain of life to him who has it, but the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise makes his speech judicious and adds persuasiveness to his lips. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul, and health to the to the body. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. We'll stop there for this morning. And really there are, well, two thoughts. The first thought is, what is a discerning life? And the second thought is, the way of man versus the way that is right. And really these are connected thoughts. Because the discerning man, the discerning mind, those who use discernment or wisdom will find that they are looking for the way of God, the way that is right, not the way of man. As I look through this section of Psalm, a couple of or Psalms of Proverbs, a couple of these things stand, stand out. That about sweetness of speech increases persuasiveness. You know, if you argue and you take a tone of, of disgust or, or haughtiness, then you're not going to be as persuasive, Solomon's saying, as if you are kind in your words. If you have sweetness of speech, if you are discerning, the wise of heart is discerning. Good sense is the fountain of life to him who has it. Again, that good sense is that good sense that comes from God. It's that wisdom, that prudence, that discernment of what is the way of man and what is the way of God. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. When you are kind in the way you speak, it is sweet. It is good. And people appreciate that. The character Mary Poppins said, saying, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Well, that's a, a good thought. That if you couch what you have to say that's instructive, that's corrective, in a way that's kind, it's more likely to be heard. Solomon says, the wise of heart are discerning. They're going to be careful about what they say and how they say it. And then probably the most famous, one of the most famous quotes from the book of Proverbs. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is the way of death or the way to death. And we've used that, and I think rightfully so, to point out that if man is left to his own devices, the devices of the world, that that is not the way to go. That that is the way that leads to separation from God. That, that is a way that may even lead to physical death as, as arguments ensue. But the way that is right, the way that is right is that wise of heart, that prudence, that discernment that comes from looking at a situation to looking at life and looking at God's will and God's word and saying, how can I best be a person of God? How can I best reflect the character of God? How can I best in my life, in this moment, give God the glory and not me and not the world? That's discernment. That's prudence. That's the wisdom that is gracious that is sweet, that is kind. Let's go to God in prayer. 
Dear God, we thank you, as always, for your love. We thank you for you, you being you, for you giving us your word and guiding us to the way that is right, not the way of man, not the way of the world, not the way of sin or of Satan, not the way of self, but the way that is your way. Father, help us to use the intelligence that you have given us to study, to search your word, to be diligent with your will, and to do our best in our daily lives, whether it's in school, at work, in society, in our relationships, in our marriages, in our families, that we live in a way that always glorifies you. And Father, sometimes we mess up. Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we go our own way. Father, bring us back and forgive us. And thank you for that forgiveness that is in Christ. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining us for Proverbial Wisdom. I do look forward to these. I look forward to spending time with you. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for the encouraging comments that you make to me online or in person. I do appreciate them. Thank you again. I look forward to being with you again tomorrow. And until then, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come with those